Assalamu alaikum, Bismillah rahim Praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May peace and blessings be upon the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu I was born in Rotherham, UK, and brought up from Cavan in Southern Ireland in a in a Catholic family, and was the only child. During my childhood, my grandma used to advise me not to expose my body. I preferred not to intermingle with opposite sex, avoid alcoholic smoking, going for night clubs, uh, even though my classmates used to have them. I was not really bothered about religion or the purpose of life. The first time I heard about Islam was when I was in a religious class during world religion at the age of 16. I studied all the religions in detail and the only religion that came to my heart was Islam. So first of all, I studied the basics of Islam. For example, the five pillars of Islam, doing Salah five times a day, fasting in the month of Ramadan, giving Zakat, supporting the needy, going into pilgrimage to Mecca and the testimony of faith. What inspired me about Islam was if anybody does bad and evil deeds, they are all forgiven by God Almighty Allah once you become a Muslim. The other thing that inspired me to Islam was the belief in, go in one God that has no partners and the belief in the messengers including Abraham, Moses, Jesus and Muhammad peace be upon them all. Allah says in the Holy Quran, do not worship anyone but me. The other reason, reason was Muslim are more devoted to Lord to the Lord by submitting their life completely to the Creator, not only by praying five times a day, but also utilizing each and every second to please a mighty Allah. Even Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, the least of faith is to remove an obstacle from the road. So I became Muslim at the age of 17. Islam is the truth and it is the straight path it includes both logic and faith. And in Islam, I could find answers to all my questions. Allah brought us into existence, and to Him we are returning, no matter what religion you are. In the day of judgment, we all have to answer to our only God, Allah. No matter what anybody does, they will never escape that day that is going to come. If anybody becomes a Muslim, they are free and they will be rewarded for all their good deeds. When I knew the truth and the straight path, I told my mom and uncle and they too accept Islam and now they are, they have a very good life, alhamdulillah. I would like to give you some information about Islam. The term Allah is de derived from the word the ilaha. Arabic word Ilah means to be worshipped, that is the same word Eloh, Elohim, for God used in Hebrew Bible which is the most repeated word for God in Bible. Islam means peace. Islam comes from the root word Salam, which means peace. It also means submitting one's will to Allah. Thus Islam is a religion of peace which is accurate by submitting one's will to the will of the Supreme Creator Allah Allah. If there is a God, you will have to say that He is just and fair and for Him to put suddenly some people on earth and resurrect them and say these people, send these people to hell and these to heaven it is not just unless for one them what is permissible and what is forbidden. On top of that, man should know whether God exists or not. But 96% of the world's population believes in God. How come unless God has announced his presence? This is true messengers as mentioned in the scriptures of the Jews, Christians and Muslims. So throughout history, prophets have been coming and explaining the presence of God, worship him alone and not to associate any, anyone to him. Sometimes people follow prophets or disbelieve in him or kill him or after he passes away they alter the religion and out of the fairness of God he sends another prophet 
God is not going to lose anything if we are not worshipping him. It is for our own benefit. Let me ask you a question. Is it possible not do you believe that Moses, peace be upon him, is a prophet of God? Is it possible that Jesus, peace be upon him, is a prophet of God? Is it possible that Muhammad Wasallam is a prophet of God? If yes, to become a Muslim, all you will have to do is to say with your your tongue and believe in your hearts that you bear witness that there is no God except one God and Muhammad Wasallam is the messenger of God. Islam is not a new religion. It is the same religion taught by these messengers. If I were born at the time of Elohim, peace be upon him, the only way for salvation is to obey him. And if I were born at the time of Moses, peace be upon him, the only way for salvation is to obey him. And if I were born at the time of Jesus, peace be upon him, the only way to, for salvation is to obey him. And now it's the time of Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, and the only way for salvation is to obey him. And there is no prophet to come after him as mentioned in the Holy Quran. The Holy Quran is the guidance for mankind till the day of judgment and the Quran will be preserved as such as promised by Allah in the Holy Quran till the last day without any changes. It doesn't make any sense in saying that whatever religion you follow you just need to be a good human. For example, if I get a thousand pounds by post, the first thing I will do is to find out who is so kindful to me to give this amount. In the same way I would like to know my Creator, the one who blessed me with health, wealth, knowledge and all that I have in this world and be thankful to him and please him in the way he wants me to please him. I would like to end my talk by asking you a question. Are you a Muslim? If not, take the Shahada now which means to say with your tongue and to believe in your heart that there is no one worthy of worship except Allah the, and Prophet Muhammad Wasallam is the messenger of Allah and you have you have your whole of your life to learn about Islam as every Muslim is doing since the angel of death will not wait for us if it's time to return back to Allah it is now alhamdulillah two years since I became Muslim I am I am happy to wear the Islamic way of dressing, particular about halal food. Alhamdulillah, got married to a Muslim brother. I wish to dedicate my life for the sake of Allah, spreading the message of truth and peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.